Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> it's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review the movie Nine. So Nine has the voice talents of Alicia Wood, Jennifer Connelly, Christopher Plummer, Martin Landau, John C. Riley, Crispin Glover, and Fred Tata Score. There are no voice actors for 3 and 4 because both of those characters are silent. And Nine tells the story of this rag doll who wakes up to the world being completely destroyed. There was a post-apocalyptic war between mankind and the machine. Of course, the machine win the war. So Nine has this disc with three symbols, which is basically the last hope for and salvation. So it's up to Nine and the other rag dolls to basically go out there and see what the key to this disc really holds for them. So before I review the movie 9, my guest star Tevya Smoka is going to review it. So Tevya, take it away. Hey guys, it's me, it's me Tevya Smoka, and I'm going to review 9 for 20 Tiger Dudes. I'm only accepting to review the tab. This film came out 2009, and well, I've never seen it from theaters. It sucked for going to see it from theaters, but I did go on DVD. 2x9 and I did see it. Now, going to this film, I actually, I, I did, I, I did know part of the plot, actually, but this film was very really interesting. Now, this film did come out 2x9, actually, and it's all the animation back then. It, it still looks good. And, and I did, and I did like the animation. I can destroy it, so the story is yeah, actually interesting because it's just a, a important part of the world. Where well, humanity go dead. <laughs> thank, thank you, science. Well, that that that, that uh, uh, chance of uh, uh, war manga that spoiled it anyway. After the voice cast, I like the way I think I, I like the nine. It's pretty cool. Production wise, visual wise, I, I like the videos and I do love the characters. One, three, five, seven, and nine. All nine characters are great. I don't know for each, but John C. Riley, he's, he's good. Jim Connery has seven. She's awesome. Right, seven actually was one of my favorites. Now I put the machines themselves. I don't get spray, but some machines they scare them out. Like this one machine. Holy shit! Pull the pull the puzzle of the films like I do. I I think you like this. However, um, it's a it's a bit of science. You probably won't get it, but this film is dark. Very dark, and uh, and uh, that's the deal with the man with the machine. Well, well, we 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 didn't get to see the we don't really see the war exactly. We see flashbacks, and it's very interesting. This is why I the I I I like the idea of it, and I do like the point of it, and I think it, it actually was good. It's very interesting. Overall, though, I give nine a four out of five. Is it perfect? No. Should it buy it? It's a curious, um, but personally, I like the film. It's good. I like the action, but that's in the story, and that's what I have to say. Uh, it's a lot, it's a lot of positive things I do. I think you'll like this film, and it's a lot of video, I think you'll like it. But be warned, though, this film does get dark. And this way you can't have to do. Peace out. Thank you so much, Tevia, for reviewing Nine. So, Nine, in my opinion, is a really great animated movie. It's one of those rare PG-13 animated movies. I wouldn't even go out to say it's really a kid-friendly movie. It's more of a movie that appeals more to the teenagers and the adult. Really fits nine knowing the themes it has, what the overall tone is overall. What I really liked about this movie first of all, my god, is the animation. Holy crap, the animation is 
gorgeous. The details, the atmosphere, it really brings us. It is so terrific. And it looks really realistic. The humans look realistic. The ragdolls look realistic. This whole world looked really realistic. And it's thanks to the fantastic and phenomenal animation that this movie really gets you very immersed. And that is the best kind of thing a movie or an animated movie could possibly do to you. Nine is a movie that kept me very invested. The storytelling is really great. It's intriguing. And even though this is a movie that's only under 80 minutes long, it felt like it was an hour and a half to me. Because I don't like movies that are short but they feel short. I'm fine with the movie being short as long as I feel like it's long enough and I feel like it doesn't feel that short. And Nine definitely satisfies in every way. It's a movie that doesn't overstay its welcome, but at the same time, it is a movie that keeps you satisfied. Characters, I thought they were all very well done. The voice acting is really good. All the voice actors, I could tell, are very passionate about this project and they lend their voices to the characters so well. Alicia Wood, of course, does a really great job as Nine. Jennifer Connelly is really good as seven. Christopher Plummer is really good as one. John C. Riley is really good as six. And all the other voice actors for this movie do just a terrific job. And it really just fits the character so nicely. It's well executed. It's very well paced. The movie never feels dragged or rushed. Like I said, it does everything it can in a short running time. It never overstays its welcome at all. The scenes involving all of these machines are very haunting and terrifying. And the way the action scenes are put together in this film really look breathtaking and just so fucking inventive to make the storyline just so grand and epic in this very haunting post-apocalyptic world. And now, I only have one problem with this movie. It's a pretty big problem. It's just the only negative I have with Nine, honestly, but I thought the character 2 was so underused. Martin Landau is the voice actor for 2, and my god, Wow, I can't I couldn't believe how underused 2 was. Like the other Ragdoll characters at least had enough screen time. Each of these characters had enough. 2 gets roughly maybe I don't know, 6 to 8 minutes of screen time, maybe even less than that. That's how underused the character 2 is and it was quite bothersome how 2 was barely in the movie and you kind of question why bother adding 2 if the uh, writers and filmmakers aren't going to do anything that creative with the character. That's really my only problem though. I, everything else about the movie I really enjoyed. Yes, it could be dark, but all the dark things that happen leads to a quite happy ending. and a very satisfying ending. And that's why Nine gets three and a half out of four stars. Thank you Tevya Smoka for guest starring in this review for Nine. Please you guys check out his channel. Very cool dude. I will leave a link in the description below.